Today, we're looking at Jean-Baptiste Alban's Characteristic Etude number 12. To start, let's look at some of the general concepts that you can apply to this etude during your learning process. First of all, remember that the musical process begins in the breath. Have time and subdivision already happening before you breathe. This will offer you more consistency and confidence on the first note while also establishing solid rhythm from the start. Learn each breath slowly. As you speed up the breath, focus on changing only the speed of the breath and not the quality or feeling of the breath. before a breath. If needed, play with time and not the length of the note. Use fast fingers with decisive strikes of the vowels, both on the way down and on the way up. Hear the sound of the vowels in both directions. This holds true even for slow passages. Break the etude into sections. Break sections into chunks. When needed, break those chunks into bars or single beats. Spend most of your time where time is needed, without mismanaging your time in sections that you have already mastered. Be conscious of your metronome markings. Don't play faster than is comfortable. Instead, always play at whatever speed you can execute the passage, section, or etude to its very best. Remember. Muscle memory and speed are not necessarily related. Be true to the slurs and articulations that are written. If you change something, it should be through a conscious, well thought out musical decision and not a mistake due to lack of attention. Record yourself at all stages of your learning. Don't wait to record only when you feel ready to perform the entire etude at tempo. You might have neglected something important and the process of unlearning and relearning is much longer and more difficult. Make every note matter. Most of us spend far too much time just going through the motions without dedicating 100% of our attention and focus to the task at hand. If you're having difficulties focusing, you might be better off taking a break and returning to your trumpet after some mental rest. And always, always practice as if it was a performance. Now, let's look at some more specific notes related to the etude number 12. Make sure to have a healthy and efficient airstream. Alternate practicing everything slurred, everything flutter toned, and back to as written, but keeping the same feeling as the previous versions. bars 4, 10, and 12, leaving out the repeated note, outlining just the moving line. Do that slurred and taunt. Also, change the rhythm using long, short, and short, long patterns. Again, both slurred and tongued. markings on 
the notes don't necessarily mean short. It means bouncy and light. You must stay flexible during this etude. I like to find key points that I can test my flexibility when practicing. For me, bars 15, 18, 39 can serve as a measurement to how flexible I am. I often add repetitions to the same valve combination slurred notes in these bars to check my flexibility. Keep a strong subdivision in the more lyrical sections. Cantabile and dolce can still have intensity and direction. Isolate the rhythm starting at bar 37. Make sure that the distinction between triplet and duplet is accurate. The breath at bars 44 and before 53 are perhaps the most important ones in this etude. Make sure you take your time mastering this specific breath. You will need plenty of air while staying very relaxed and using your airstream very efficiently. Overall, this etude demands long phrases without much space for breathing. Work up your way to playing these long phrases. At first, while practicing the etude slowly, it might not be possible to play the entire phrase in one breath while maintaining a good sound and even airflow. Don't sacrifice sound, airflow, or beauty of playing for the sake of making these phrases in one breath. With time, you'll be able to play longer phrases. Practice with the metronome and even record yourself with the metronome. You will quickly figure out your tendencies whether it is to rush or drag. Once you have a good grasp on time, then you can explore adding or stealing time here and there, as long as it is appropriate and it fits the style. Lastly, remember to make music and have fun learning and performing this etude, and you will find the process and results very rewarding. Thanks for watching. You can visit us at axiombrass.com for more videos like this. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.